Garnasau floating a ball back into the middle, but nobody was there to meet it. Serrano called off by Captain Yep, and now he goes back up for it. Oh. He gets it past Wyatt. Captain Yep will be there. He's to there. It one nil to the Cauldron in game one. Wow. That constant pressure with the double commit just opened it up, and it was an easy goal. They need to get a demo. Emerald City needs to get a demo in. They need to get a bump in. Like, they need to clear something out because it's just constant pressure from KC. Oh my! Gardner Salad! It's like we said, they will not let you out. And this is a prime example of that. Both Gardner Salads and Captain Yef went for that. And I'm not going to lie, they're lucky that went in because that could have been disastrous on the other end. And now it's looking like the Cauldron will take game one and have a 1-0 lead in this series, and that's... Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. There's a chance! Yes. Yeah. That's Never give up the first and you're blind, just, oh my god, what a tip. Just the bump from Toe Death clears Captain Yep off the line. And honestly, I thought this was over. It might not be blind. It might not be! It's open! Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> great defensive play from Cauldron, shutting that down. But I feel like Emerald City got into a rhythm in the second half of the game, and it's going to be a great series here. But they, they keep clearing it out to an uh, KC Cauldron defender. Oh, my Ooh. God. Brian, are you serious? What is that read? I think switching to that physical play is going to be a positive for ECRC. If Casey's left alone, they've got all the time. They can do things with it. If you're murdering a guy that has to come back from his side of the field, it might be better. But Garden of Salads shuts me up real quick. Garden of Salads. On, that ball was fortunate to go in the net because it did go straight to Blyan. But Blyan, I think, had side flipped just a little bit too early. And unfortunately, not the touch he wanted, but we are now at 1-1, you know? I still think what you said about ECRC stands. If they can continue with that physical play, you know, that could spell a lot of trouble for the cauldron. But if they keep missing the ball, that could cause a lot of trouble for themselves. <laughs> and as soon as it started, it ends. Captain Yep puts that one home off of a nice bounce off the wall. Wanting the second touch, doesn't get it, and now Blyan will put it into the Cauldron corner. Toda coming in. Oh my. And in. Beautiful play from Blyan there. Hits it up the wall and fakes going for it. That makes everybody hesitate, and Toda finds the hole between all three KC Cauldron players. Faking, 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 <laughs> chat disabled. Chat disabled, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, Serrano, what's he got to this one? Oh! <laughs> I'll be honest, un it's uncharacteristic of him to miss those first shots, but it goes in because Garden of Salads is just lurking there. He was harassing Brian on that goal line, and he was like, yeah, I'll stay just in case. Thank God you did, Garden, monopolizing that territory on the ECRC goal line. There's always... Oh Somebody my. in the cauldron there. And Serrano <laughs> with another shot off the same spot of the bar. And Garden of South will put it high, wanted to put the pass in, but Serrano was rotating out. And now Smashly with his shot to Smashly! Oh, what a set play! He saw Smashly forward on the corner and he said, I got you! Not hitting it at net, that's easy save for Serrano or for Garden of Salads. He hits it wide right to Smashly, angle change puts that ball in the net. What a ball! That was an incredible gameplay from ECRC, but I feel like they're fighting tooth and nail for every offensive chance they get. And I feel like it just comes easy to KCRC, who just demonstrates. That last defender on the goal line, Toad Death had creeped up just a little bit too far, expecting the touch from Smashly, and that will get you punished. And that will do it for game two, KC to an early 2-0 lead.
And as we start this game with three players on each team, Smash Link <laughs> can't quite get the shot that he wants. I hate you. <laughs> but you know what? I don't hate goals. And I don't hate Captain Yep for scoring that. So 13 now, seconds in. Just honestly, in the first 30 seconds, the Cauldron has done that well. They've kept, they've caught ECRC off guard a few times. And now Brian with an errant touch to Garden of Salads who shoots and it does sneak into the bottom corner. I almost said corn dog, bro. It just, <laughs> bottom corn dog has been achieved. You know, revive that I, I can't speak words anymore. You know, I lost, lost what happened. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But you know who didn't lose something? Brian. He Brian. will never lose that shot at net. Smashly died for our sins and just leaves it there for Brian. I believe Casey thought Toad Death was taking that and weren't ready for the direct on. Now recollecting themselves and Brian is able to get the touch out. But again, only as far as Garden of Salads. Who oh my. The yeah. Will not miss those. We're into game three here, but it feels like it's a different league as uh, Casey Cauldron is just absolutely punishing ECRC right now. And those challenges from Casey Cauldron so far have just been absolutely lethal. They've been able to set themselves up, you know, in contested territory. They've always been able to make sure to find that touch. <laughs> Lion, as I say that, is able to convert on the drop down from Toad Death. Just beautiful double tap off the wall. And Lion with the speed to beat two KC Cauldron defenders. But ECRC definitely feels like the weaker team in this matchup. And that's not a sentence that we hear. Oh, that's there we go! Yeah. Here's to the commentator on purpose. <laughs> Toad Death, just all four wheels on that ball to make sure it's the most powerful touch into that top corner. ECRC have pulled this one back yet again. This one's going to overtime. Is that just in? It is! <laughs> Toad Death with the big ball! Toad Death has been the all-star of this game. It's reflected on the scoreboard. It's reflected on the stat sheet, but it's reflected in my heart as I've seen Toad Death set up everybody and clear out. It's been crazy. As we tick down, will ECRC get another on the road? It looks like they will, and they will take game three. It is now two to one in this series. And Emerald City, you know, from down and out at 3-1, all of a sudden looked to be in control. But Toad Death was feeding Brian. Brian was putting the ball in the net. Toad Death got two goals himself. And all of a sudden, we see ECRC actually competing, actually trying to win this series on the scoreboard. Um, like getting, I, I guess, tangled out of up position. Of yeah. Yeah, out of position. Yeah. Like, oh, but here's oh, oh, out of position. That, who was goalie there? Serrano making no, sure. No, Captain. Serrano making sure oh, that God. Emerald City knows who's in charge. He is. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <clears throat> If he scores another goal, I'll, 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 uh, I'll say it, but uh, <laughs> speaking of, Captain Neff wants another one, and Garden of Salad gets what another one. Casey is upset about that Game 3 loss, and they just want to take a two-goal lead in 27 seconds. No big deal. <laughs> Casey looking to take Emerald City to the woodshed in this game as revenge. We need to see them continue to apply that pressure. You know, choke them in their own half. And Serrano sipping on that walk as he scores his second of the game. Absolutely dominant showing right off the first minute here for KC Cauldron. It doesn't look like the same team we saw in game three. 
Absolutely. This is a completely different cauldron. This is a rejuvenated, revitalized <laughs> cauldron. Sorrento, with a hat trick one minute and two seconds into the game. <laughs> Serrano taking the walk to Poland on this one. I think Serrano's watching the stream. I think he didn't like being called out as bottom of the team last time. It's it's definitely a pressure situation here for ECRC. I fully agree because right now they are letting the, the Cauldron have their way with them. And Captain Yep heard what you said and said, Cauldron right, was listening. For the tip. I got you. <laughs> you said a demo opens up the net? Let me sh let me demonstrate. Exactly. <laughs> Take a page out of Jorby's playbook and say he deleted Toe Death off the field and made it 5 0. It does mean that you have to get your mental right. And right now it has to happen. Serrano with a number one for the road, and that is his fourth. Emerald City embracing their panic and going for full commits, for full pressure, and it's just opening up more and more goals. They're not calming down and gaining possession of the ball. They're going to change it. They're going for changing it by hitting the ball. As you see, Smashly do, and take one back for the boys. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing from, from ECRC right now. It doesn't, like, at this point, you know, you're not going to come back. But, yeah, just get a goal for the road. And, yeah, just get all your mistakes out right now. You know, this is the time to take a deep breath, to reevaluate your plan. But as of right now, Cauldron will take a 3-1 series lead and will go to championship point. This next game could be all for the mar for all the marbles, or there could be three games. Cauldron currently with a 3-1 lead and looking to put this series away right now. Up against them, the formidable force that is ECRC and Smash Leap, putting that one straight in, signaling their intentions in this game. Smash Lee absolutely likes to score when my mouth is full, if you know what I mean. Hey, yo. Don't let them have time on the ball, but also, when you get the chance to settle the ball in for yourself, Serrano, oh this is the kid of savages there to put that off of the perfect bounce off of the corner and the ceiling. What a play from KC. They had two different strikers. They had all the options, and poor Blyan was the only one back in net. And he wants to make sure that the Cauldron are empty. Steals from Serrano, who has none on that dribble, but he gets the 50. Oh. And Captain Yap is going to put that one away. It's again, the 50 game. Serrano with the patience there. Toad Death doesn't get the clear he's looking for, and Lion whiffs on the clear. Great play from Serrano to feed that in. Great awareness from Captain Yep to put it away. It's 2 1 on championship point here in game five. Now it's time for Emerald City to show us what they have to dig deep like they did in that series against U Sector. But Captain Yep has taken the shovel out of their hands. <laughs> Absolute domination. It seems like when you score on Casey Cauldron, you really just make them angry. And you would not like them when they're angry. Three unanswered goals in the last minute from Cauldron. Serrano is him. Captain Yep is him. Toad Death is him. With that goal right there, just completely fooling Serrano right there, who had to jump because he didn't see that Toad Death. Wow. Oh. You know, had, he, if, if he doesn't jump there, he's screwed. If he jumps there, he's screwed. That was so dangerous. That was clutch. <laughs> he very easily could have bumped him into the ball and just sent it in anyway. And speaking of, Aiden, off the pass from Smashly, we're tied again. Tie game at halftime, great genius bitter, pitter patter back and forth from Toad Death and Smashly. Toad Death kicks it off the wall, Smashly sees where Toad Death is and puts it right in front of his car with no defenders back. One thing that we always say and always hear, the hardest game to close out, the hardest game to win is the last one. But that is, is precisely what Garden of Salads will do. He delivers the cauldron their first ever SGL title!
What a great ball in there from Captain Yef. Just absolutely split the defenders. Serrano saying, lag will not stop me. <laughs> great play from Casey Cauldron to take this series.